Yeah, it was pretty good. Oh my god, what's that building? I've never seen that. Oh yeah, that's the Boss Museum. I actually just learned all about that in class. You want to check it out? Yeah. that displays artwork from different artists all over the world. Jerry Mallet is the man that started it all. He began the artwork collection in 1982 with just four pieces of art. Today, the amount of art has grown to a staggering 7,800 pieces of artwork. Wow. Uh, let's take a look inside then, shall we? Yep. That one's really pretty. Yeah, that one is pretty cool. Each piece of artwork plays an important role in a children's book. This particular illustration is from the Log of Christopher Columbus by Christopher Columbus. The illustrations in this book were done by Robert Sabuda and the selections were done by Steve Lowe. Let me see that. I wonder where the picture is in this book. Here it is. I wonder if there's any information in here about the actual artist. There is. It says that Robert Sabuda grew up in Pickney, Michigan. Since graduating from Peratt Institute in New York City, he has illustrated five books for children, including the recently published I Hear America Singing by Walt Whitman. Um, it also says Walden by Henry David Thoreau with text selections by Steve Lowe. Walden was selected as one of the best books of 1990 by the Washington Post and was called Striking by the Book List and Dramatic by Crixus Reviews. Mr. Sabuda lives in New York City where he is at work on his next book for children. Alex, this is Robert Sabuda. He is known for illustrating stories of fantasy and adventures for pop-up books for children. It is interesting that Robert Sabuda would illustrate for such a book because it's based on the real-life journey that Christopher Columbus and his men took over the Atlantic. The original picture is of a boat floating over a reed garden in the dark shadows of the ocean floor. The juxtaposition of light between the sunlight reflecting off the water onto the boat next to the darkness of the seaweed brings the detail of painting to life. This picture is from the point of view of from the bottom of the ocean to represent the darker side of Columbus and his journey across the Atlantic. That's right. There are two sides to this story about Columbus. I didn't find out until years after my elementary school days that many historians and critics find Christopher Columbus to be more of a controversial character in history rather than an influential one. That is correct. It is not exactly advertised that Columbus thought he was in a completely different continent and opened a trade route that would soon bring diseases to the natives of the Americas and, kill, and nearly kill off an entire ethnic race. This picture is a great way to show children reading Columbus's log to identify with the scene by, Cindy, by seeing a balance between light and dark. The reeds are described in Columbus's log and how he can use them to determine how close to land the ship is and how much further they will have to travel. Why do you think that Sabuda decided to paint the scene from this angle? This picture may be from the point of view from the bottom of the ocean to represent the darker side of Columbus and his journey across the Atlantic. So the light from the boat represents the positive side of Columbus, while the darkness of the reeds illustrates the negative consequences from Columbus's journey from Europe to the Americas. Historians go as far to say that Columbus receives too much credit for his discovery because he was not the first to land on American soil, as the narrative would have the children believe. This book of Christopher Columbus's log does shed a little truth behind what actually was the life for Columbus and his crew on the Santa Maria. Through the book, Columbus tells how the men 
aboard felt fearful and uncertain about their travels to the New World and resented Columbus for it. Do you think the crew of the Santa Maria wanted to have a mutiny? They came very close to throwing Columbus overboard, and he even admits in his log that there were whispers of, on the ship between circles of men to do just that. Do you think lying to, the, to, the, to his men was the best way to deal with the situation? I do not believe so. However, Columbus lied to his crew in order to keep them under control so that there would not be an uprising. This picture actually is during a time when Columbus and his men are cheerful because the reeds give them hope that land is near. Yes, but if the reader continues on in the book, they will find that it takes several more days and into weeks to find land. Why do you think that Steve Lowe decided on the selections he did? This book is geared towards older elementary children, so I believe that Lowe and Sabuda with his illustrations are trying to expose the children to the idea that Columbus's journey was not as glorious as what they had, to, had come to believe. I'm so happy we stopped by here. I learned so much about the Moaza. Maybe we should do this next, next week sometime, you know, to learn more information about the art. <laughs>